morning. It's uh, Sunday again, two weeks after we put in our new aquaponics system here. And it's going particularly well, but I wanted to make this video to record a few things that uh, I'd like to remember for future that need tweaking with and adjusting. And uh, also I plan on setting up some more systems in the future and want to just record down some of the little things that went wrong with this one so we don't do them again. First of all, I'd like to just show you this, but this is two weeks after we started and things are going really well here. The lettuce is coming along well. Let me pull out this baby spinach here, show you the root systems. You know, they're growing really, really well. One thing that is going wrong, but is that you can see a bit of a brown film on those roots there. That's not good because that starts actually blocking up the little receptors on the roots and they can't take up the nutrients and the oxygen and the, their growth will be stunted so we need to get a filter in this system to make sure the water is absolutely as clean as possible to prevent that from happening. So here's our, uh, our fish team. It's going really really well. The fish are loving it. Uh, this side of things worked out really well but we nearly had an absolute disaster yesterday. I was inside and I, you know, I uh, hear something wasn't quite right with the water. I just picked up on it, came outside, and this actually had started to empty. Now, that seems a bit strange in, in that it's only emptying from this pipe down here via gravity. So how on earth could it empty? Well, just like the auto siphon on our, on our uh, grow bed over here, that when it creates a vacuum, will actually suck the entire thing dry, the same thing somehow happened to the fish tank here. And uh, it goes by gravity across here and into our grow bed. Somehow a vacuum formed and it was literally just emptying the entire fish tank. And it would have emptied this fish tank completely because it, it sucks from the bottom. And obviously that wouldn't have been real good for the fish. So to prevent that, if you have a look down here closely, we just put a bit of an air hole in the top of the pipe here so that a vacuum cannot form. Or if one tries to form, a bit of air will be taken in and will prevent that. And hopefully, in the future, we won't have any dramas with our fish tank emptying. Because what's actually meant to happen is if anything goes wrong in the system, the pump breaks down or something else happens, it cannot ever get any lower than this drain. So the fish will be happy in their thousand litres of water. This is our sump down here. It's actually emptying at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But now the, the idea of the sump is just to provide a point where everything drains back to and then we can pump into the, into the back into the fish tank. You'll notice but we're getting a lot of sediment in here, which is what the sump's meant to do, it allows things to settle. But at the moment we've got our pump sitting on the bottom of the sump and of course it's actually uh, taking a lot of that sediment with it back into the system. We're going to lift our pump up and uh, put some screening around it to try and minimise the amount of stuff that it's actually sucking from the sump back into the system. That'll be one little improvement as well. scientist in me gets to come out and have a bit of a play. I've got uh, a freshwater test kit here and I do this once a week at the moment because it's a new system and I want to know what's going on with the water, how the quality is, how the fish are being affected, how the plants are going. So I've got four different uh, tests here. We test for pH, ammonia, the nitrite and then after that the nitrate. So if you have a look down here, I've actually done them all already. And uh, I have to say, the system pretty much perfect today. We've got uh, a pH level there of about 6.4. Now that's dropped a fraction, but that's common in aquaculture systems. They tend to go a little bit acid over time. That's just uh, a perfect level at the moment, but, and uh, I'll keep an eye on that over time. Now the ammonia, this is really a measure of the amount of fish waste in the water. And uh, the last two weeks, we've actually had zero parts and this week it's up around 0.5 uh, of a part per million and that's perfect. That means that there's not too much water to fish ratio or the other way around, too many fish to water ratio where it would uh, you know, start really spiking up higher. It's good, it means that we've got our levels about right as far as ammonia goes. You certainly don't want to see it coming any higher than that 
and uh, I'd like to see it dropping down a bit over the next few weeks but at the moment that's perfect. Now what happens to the ammonia is bacteria in the system turns it into nitrites and then into nitrates which becomes the food for the plants. So this first one here is nitrite and this tells us whether our first lot of friendly bacteria are doing their job on the ammonia. And if we can have a look at this, they certainly are. The colour here is right off the scale, really. It's up really quite high. That's nothing to be too worried about. The fish don't mind that too much. And what it's telling me is that uh, the ammonia is being successfully converted into nitrite, which is fantastic because this is what we want to be seeing, especially for the plants, is our amount of nitrates, the amount of available uh, uh, soluble food for the plants and this one today is about 20 parts per million which is great because the last couple of weeks it's sort of been down around zero sneaking up to sort of five the plants are looking a little yellow and uh, you know obviously weren't getting what they needed 20 parts per million and I nearly could have guessed that anyway because the plants they don't have any yellowing they're growing really quickly they're looking nice and healthy so you know for a system that's really only a few weeks old at the moment, those levels are perfect. I'm really happy with that. But I'll keep continue testing that for the next few weeks at least, because I like to see what's going on. And yeah, you know, it's good to have all the information at hand so you don't make any mistakes. Um, well, I'm just sitting here, dirty great march flies come in and bit me on the elbow. <laughs> they get a lot of these in Queensland, and I used to hate them. Now I love them, and I'll show you why. My fish in the aquaponic system here absolutely love these things. So we'll throw them in the system. Shouldn't have to wait too long. Beautiful little fish, look at that little fella. It's a tiny head, massive body. Beautiful. Oh, I've got a big one. Okay, just going to weigh one of these fish. We just need to zero that off. Put him in. So this guy's coming in, it's bobbing up and down a bit. At about 80 grams. Now when I got these fish only, oh, be, what, eight, eight weeks ago I suppose? They were between three and five grams. Now this fella here's 80 grams. You can see the uh, beautiful jade colour starting to develop along their lateral line as well. Along the... Look at that tiny head, big body, very fat, very healthy.